This video will demonstrate creating multiple stack ups in the cross section editor from within the Allegro PCB editor. Since we need to work in the cross section editor, we'll launch that by using the cross section editor icon. Here is our cross section editor. In order to be able to work with multiple stack ups, you have to turn on that mode. So we will go into view multiple stack ups mode. Notice in the top banner, it tells you now that you are in multiple stack ups mode. Notice that the user interface has changed a little bit. We now have a primary tab and a plus tab there, and we'll use this in a bit. To add a new stack up, I have two options. I can hit the plus tab, that will give me a new stack up, or if we scroll to the right, there's an add stack up header, and I can click that to add a stack up. So let's add our first stack up. I'm gonna use the add stack up cell. I'm just going to left click in there and I'll get the create stack up form. I just want to enter a name. Uppercase or lowercase this doesn't mean anything here. Defaults to uppercase. I'm going to use the all layers excluded from stack up. What basically means is this new stack up will have no layers in it by default. I'll have to manually put everything in there. I'll select OK. If I scroll to the right we can now see I have the Flex 1 stack up created. Let's add a couple more stack ups to complete the number of stack ups, and then we'll define which layers are contained in that stack up after that. I'm going to add another one. This time I'll just hit the plus. Same thing. I'll get the same form. I'll call that Flex 2. I'm going to use the same option of all layers excluded from stack up. If we scroll to the right, we can now say we have flex one and flex two as part of our stack ups. Over on the right, we can see that in our board cross section, we do have the primary flex one and flex two. However, there is nothing in them because I haven't toggled on anything at this point. So let's add a couple of layers into these flex stack ups. They're always going to use the flex layers, but not any of the other. Uh, uh, conductor layers. So I'm just going to click on the flex one, the dielectric between, and flex two layers for both my stack ups. And you can see as I'm doing this on the right, the board cross section now shows those layers being used in those flex stack ups. Right now I'm going to add another stack up. I can just hit the plus button or add stack up, doesn't make any difference. I'm going to call this one flex three. But this time I'm going to do a copy stack up from because I want to match one of these two and I'll pick, let's say, flex one and then say OK. And if I scroll to the right, notice now I have flex three, but also it automatically included those three layers. So that was kind of a shortcut way of copying existing layers over. Now let's now define exactly which layers are and aren't used in these three new stack ups. So I'm going to work with my primary first because my primary doesn't have any of these first three or bottom three layers because they're primarily for flex. So I'm going to turn off the stiffener, the cover lay, and the adhesive on the top section, turn off the gold, the cover lay, and the adhesive on the bottom. So basically for my standard section that I have my, my rigid design, I'm just going to have my standard solder mask and routing layers. Now I'm going to define what's in flex one, flex two, and flex three. So each of those three flex layers is going to have the cover lay, top and bottom, and adhesive top and bottom. So I'm going to turn on all three cover lay tops and all three adhesives on the top. And we'll do the same thing for the bottom. Okay, almost there. We've just got a few more different changes we're going to make for a couple of flex layers. So I'm just going to turn on stiffener top only for flex two. Okay. And for flex three, I'm just going to turn on only the gold. As I'm doing this again, you can check the right hand side of my cross section and my display to see as the layers are being added into that. Down at the bottom, we have an info. And again, this will be updated. Right now, it's telling me the total layers. However, if I select on one of these tabs, this will be updated. So notice when I go to flex one, I have two conductor and four masks. If I go to flex two, I have two conductor and five masks. If I go to flex three, 
I have two conductors and five masks. And notice as I select on each of these folder tabs, the right hand side cross section editor display gets updated. So that's flex three, flex two, and flex one. This concludes the video that demonstrated creating multiple stackups in the cross section editor from within the Allegro PCB editor.